For Amy, thank you. That is it for us. I'm Charlene Ellicott. And I'm Ken Rosano. More local news, traffic, and weather coming up in 25 minutes. In the meantime, Good Morning America is coming up next. Have a wonderful day. Bundle up. One of the last times we'll have to say that. I hope so. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Seven on your side investigates why the state is shortchanging schools today at five. Good morning, America. Breaking news as we come on the air. Multiple people injured in a shooting in the Netherlands. Counterterrorism forces now on the scene. We'll have the latest on that. While back here at home, we follow that flooding, that deadly flooding disaster. Historic flooding hits the heartland, washing away highways and bridges. People trapped in towns surrounded by water. Helicopter crews swooping in, racing to rescue families, some stuck on roofs. We're live on the scene with the latest. Breaking news. A massive chemical fire raging in Houston. Families in nearby neighborhoods warned to shelter indoors right now. Also this morning, American authorities raced to decode those black boxes after Ethiopian officials say they found clear similarities between the two fatal Boeing flights. Oh my God. The manhunt right now for this ATV driver caught on camera, dragging a police officer through a crowded street in Nashville. Breaking news on Better O'Rourke, what he just announced about his campaign, and Vice President Biden's Freudian slip. Did he just reveal he's running for president? And let the March Madness begin. The big dance about to get underway. Will top-seeded Duke and Zion Williamson take it all? Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, America. Hope you all had a good weekend. Welcome back, guys. Oh, it's great to be back. What day is it? Who am I? Where am I? I know. I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to be back, George. And we're going to get right to that breaking news. Reports of multiple people injured in a shooting on a tram in the Netherlands. Counterterrorism units heading to the scene. We want to go right to Ian Panel, who has the latest. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Worrying news. Police in the central Dutch city of Utrecht, this is a little over 20 miles from the capital Amsterdam, saying on Twitter that multiple people have been injured as a result, uh, as a result of a shooting in a tram in a residential neighbourhood. Now, we know that the police are saying that trauma helicopters have been sent to the scene and that they're appealing for the public to stay away to allow first responders to do their work. The authorities also saying that they are looking for a gunman. We're hearing that counter-terrorism police have been deployed and are investigating whether or not this was a terrorist attack. Now, this happened just over an hour ago, so further details are still coming in, and obviously we will update you. Police around the world, of course, on high alert after that terrorist attack in New Zealand. As I say, we'll update you as we get more information. Robin. That we will, Ian. Thank you. All right, now we're going to go to that major flooding across the heartland.